Hello and welcome to Baker Street Art Coasters, where today we are here joined with Louis underscore bikes um, and also my brother to give you the updates about the whole entire park. Now I haven't been back to this park since 2016 or 2018, so there have been a lot and a lot of different changes such as the wave becoming from shock, well, from being shockwave to the waves, so we've got sit down roller coasters, uh, cars, um, to Thomas Land being something new. And also got this new roller coaster opening in two weeks, I think it is, uh, which is Gold Rush. We've also got Frontierland, uh, Frontier Falls, sorry. And there are other coasters I have never ridden in this park before, so it would be very, very cool to go and ride it. Now, please remember to subscribe, smile always, and I'll keep you guys updated for the whole entire day. Maelstrom. So the gates have just opened for Drayson Manor Resort. Let's go on the way. I have never ridden this roller coaster ever. All oh, this amazing theming in the queue. How are you feeling, Louis? Stress. Stress, yeah. Now, I've themed this queue up very, very well, and I've never been the original. Right, hang 10 with the wave. Now, we haven't seen it test. However, I think it tested this morning. Really, really nice theme, very good posters, really good colours to it. And they were like this. Right, And they were not even there. Thank you, I'll wait to get a manner. And they didn't know who they were. Dive into surf, like. Ride the crash. It seems like they're very and repetitive, they're really though. Like, I've been in the like, the posters are very repetitive. Don't you agree, Louis? What? The posters are very repetitive, aren't they? No. Don't you think? Sit back, keep your head back, and hold on to the grab rails at all times. No. Oh, let's go. You've got steps. This is probably the only way to what I know about. It has steps all the way up. Really, really nice surfboard here. Spirit of the wave. Now, because of, of uh, because we can't, because they are very restricted on online theming, I am very sorry, but I can't take you on this. But I hope you get as much POV uh, out of the ride, off ride POV. The wave at uh, Great Amara. That is only close to for me. I didn't ride it when it was originally Shockwave. And I have to say, that experience it was a rough ride, but with the new cars, it was really, really smooth. I can't lie. Um, it's very, very unique. Uh, and I just love how the lap bars are also how they are as well, because it's a. Um, it's a. Well, yeah, it is. It's just a lap bar. And um, with the force of when you go round the inversions, it's just amazing. It's so comfortable to ride in, uh, it has some really good smooth parts on it. Some parts are worth like the inversions, I mean it does need a chat for you, so it did open back in 1999 I think it was, uh, and it was a flying b and uh, coaster, and then they changed it to sit down. Absolutely adore ride with a passion. Now it's time to go on Zampala Air Race. Yeah. Louis, how did you find it's not Zampala oh, that's Air Race? It's Seaside Best, yeah. Air Race. Air okay, it's called Seaside Air Show, but it's called it's Air Race. Yeah. I've never ridden one of these oh, air races before, so I'm not quite sure uh, how you control one. I know they have one in um, I know they have one in Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which is very very unique as well. It'd be very very cool to see what they have in here. Love the facade, but it looks like it's just a tin. It just looks like this. Wooden pants. There is. There is the wave. Oh, Alex, only you.
So, Louis, Alex, how did you find Air Race? Awful. Awful? Amazing. Amazing. Why did you find it awful, I believe Louis? I can fly. You didn't like the feeling. You didn't like the feeling. Fair enough, fair enough. Your Air Race with Air. I found it quite good, very good entertaining. Probably uh, the one of the two Lombarda Air Races in the UK, which I just really things, I don't know what I called. But, you know, quite good. We've got mails from over. Looks like uh, the park isn't busy today and it's the start of the summer holiday. <coughs> For the Sunday. Now one thing I'd say that Drayton Manor really don't do good on is their theming in the queue. Now yes, I saw, we saw that um, the Wave had theming in the queue line. However, things like this, like this huge ride that I had their mails from, I remember it being back like God knows. Um, this area and this theming here doesn't really have much. So I'm pretty sure they are moving towards having themed areas. I haven't quite gone to see the area of Vikings yet. Um, but it looks like with their progression of this, uh, the wave and their new theme to the wave, and the progression of the new Gold Rush vibe, pretty sure they're very much moving towards the theme of a new roller coaster. Uh, no, of a new theming of the themed vibes, but also moving to a new roller coaster. I'm pretty sure they will see much more. Um, Progression, progression with theme parks as Universal is coming to the area. I'm very sorry about today, I am very uh, not making Look at sense. That guy. Look at that guy. I know that. So we just came off Tidal Slingers, very very good, I like that ride, um, very relaxing as well. It's not like the one at Chessington, Chessington uh, does bear spread water at you, but it is what it is anyways. Very very old, remarkable ride. Um, so now I'm pretty sure we are off to Maelstrom, which is a, uh, well it's that thing, I don't know what that thing is, it's Zamperla? I'm not sure, I'm not sure where the other ones have gone either. So now we are off on Storm Force 10. The UK is not so wet as Ryan. However, it is still an amazing ride. Really, really nice facade here with the lighthouse. Kind of like, and the queue goes all the way around it. You've got a car right up there. So now, what I'd say is uh, more accessible, there should be an elevator in some of these places because they weren't. Like the one at Legoland, Legoland do have an elevator for the dragon. Very very cool to see an elevator here because for the inaccessible ones it's not very beneficial. I don't think there is an elevator but I'm not sure. I may be wrong. <laughs> now off the Stormfall stand, did just say that oh Terry's Pengley private store. We've got some really really nice theming in here. I <laughs> I can't lie this is amazing. I've never seen that much theming on a ride ever. Look at all this. This has got to be some well good theming. This has got to be some well theming. Jeez, guys. Fishing permits. Sit at the back of me if you want. Air and sea helicopters are faster with a long range. Live boats can stay at sea longer. Rescue swimmers. Now, this ride used to be some, uh, sponsored by Jet. Uh, now, I don't know if that's still licensed. It used to say it on the huge um, tank, which is outside. I'm not quite sure if it still is. However, I have to say, you know what I said earlier about um, the queue line not being themed? I have to say this, I may have to take this back. You actually got me up through the lighthouse itself. No, you're not. Please hold on, it's a new
Now, I cannot take you on, as like I said earlier. Uh, on my uh, filming, it's a very limited. Have a enjoy. There is a backwards section on here. There they used to be orange, used to be orange, used to be named Jet. Did you see how I get into it? So we have just done tide the storm force ten and mail storm and I'd say absolutely amazing ride. Even though Mail Storm isn't as bad as they thought it might turn out to be. So I'm pretty sure we're done with Coral Reef at the moment until later on where we'll go back and do um, we'll go back and do the uh, the River Rapids which I have there. Now we are off to the amazing accelerator. Now I ridden this back in 2011 and it's in the area of the new area Frontier Falls. The old dark road used to be over there too, I'm going to explore that. Um, that could be something new in the area. Oh, it's just over there. But yes, Bunch is in the area of Bunch of Falls. I'm back in 2016, 2014, 2011. Uh, this ride used to be Ben 10, didn't it, Louis? Yeah. Yes, it did, yeah. Anyways, how did you find Maelstrom? Uh, it was good. It's not beat Stonecross. Fun? Alex, come on. Alex, how did you find Maelstrom, mate? How did you find Maelstrom? Okay, no, I didn't. Okay. There, well, go! Yo, are you okay? Here is Accelerator. And this is in the area of Frontier Falls. Where's the entrance? I swear it's over here. So it says, oh, I haven't been back here since 2011. Where are we going? So, uh, now, as you can see, this hasn't changed much since Ben 10. You can so tell because it's got the theming of Ben 10. Frontier falls over here. Why are we skipping through the entrance? Now, like I said, this used to be Ben 10. You're all these stuff from Ben 10. Really, really cool. Look, you got the Ben 10 all theming here. Do the people actually realise that? I'm a little bit cold, so I'm a little bit shaky. I like the theming. I may as well try to do it twice at once. So really, really cool night nice shot, side nice stuff. Now, Ben 10 used to appear, but you had. Really cool thing, but uh, have echo echo up there. Really cool light up there down here. Hello! They always found here. Hello, Alex. <coughs> hello, hello. I'm with him. Oh, you... oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Hello, so are you alright? Right? I'm, I'm okay. Can good, I get good. a high five from behind the camera? Uh, yeah, you can, you can, you can. There oh, you go. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yes, you're on. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Have a good day now. Yes, yes, Sanjay. Yes, yes. My yeah. always. So, we just went on accelerator. Alex? Alex just left me. Um, 
Louis, how did you find how did you find accelerator? Delay that now. Louis, Louis, how did you find accelerator? Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. Okay. It was okay. Now, one thing I never understand is why they have this tin can thing up there. This thing just very much surprises me and why they have it. Because in the entrance here, they have no, they have no um, stairs. So I don't get why that is here. I don't understand that whole concept, to be fair. Uh, now, high voltage. So it is called the Jim Green Track Electric Company. Lightning power. Now, I'm not quite sure how it fits into this area because, you know, Falls Theatre. Looney Tunes, and you've got World Bills Hotel, and then you've got this, and I'm not quite sure how this fits into the area. And yet again, Frontier Falls. <laughs> They're very cool. Um, but anyways, accelerator, there is accelerator. Now I loved it back in Ben 10. It's still Ben 10 to me. I have pointed out stuff that is Ben 10 related. You've got D2 there, I don't know what it's D2 for, but you've got that green and you've got that green and white track stuff. And I'm not quite sure what it's got to do with, um, not quite sure what it's got to do with Electric Company as these are white fitted. However, it would be pretty cool to see a re-theme on this track. Now, what we also have over here, in this, and I have seen it testing, is the new roller coaster for 2024, which Drayton Manor has been and you can see the builders over there, they have been um, building on it. Looks amazing, they haven't quite done that up to here. But it's going to be stunning, it looks like. Your Undertaker last souvenir. And then you've got all that in there. Now, like I said, we have seen it tested. I don't think you'll see it testing those ones soon. And all this facade here, which I absolutely adore, like the facade to this ride. You can also get in this jail, I'm pretty sure. Alex, get in there. There you go. Alex is in jail. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, it looks amazing in what's in here. Now we are off to the Horton. Now again, I'm not quite sure what this has got to do or themed into the area of Frontier Falls, but you know, it is what it is. Here we go. Oh, we've got the gateway to the haunted. Now this ride has, um, I don't think it's changed much. Yet again, this has got a new facade. Really nice facade. I adore it with a passion. It's, I love how the side of this field built thing here has been themed up well. I know they've had some new stuff uh, to this ride, but you know, it's time to enter the haunting. On one field, I think, is not permitted in this ride, unfortunately. So I cannot take you on, but take you, tell you how it is later on. It is a Zampart, no, it's an intimate madhouse. Well, it just came out of the haunting, I find that very, very... You all these nice things here, but I don't get what this is. Oh, and if we look in here... We have Gold Rush. All this stuff in here. So I found really, really cool. Really, really nice to see that they're actually doing stuff. This used to be the Cartoon Network shop, if I'm correct. Um, say hi now, so you can see the Cartoon Network stuff. So this could be like Frontier Full Shop. And yeah. So now we are off to the land of the Vikings. Like I said, I found the haunting very, very timid. Um, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> So now we're off to the jo Jormungand, whatever it is, I don't know. Now this used to be named the Buffalo Ride back in the day. Um, don't think it's the Buffalo Ride anymore. What? Definitely something to do with the theming of... <coughs> so yes, like I was saying, this used to be named the Buffalo Ride uh, back in the day, 2016, 2018. Uh, not anymore. 
it is now Jormung, I don't know what it's named, I'm not even going to pronounce it. Um, and then we also have a gold rush over there, now I did just do my P uh, the, uh, the, the whole thing about this. But this track layout looks absolutely amazing, not even joking. People working in the station over there, kind of looks like Sean and Charlotte, I can't know, oh sorry. Um, but yes, I'm very much looking forward to a gold rush in Frontier Falls. And it will be the Frontier Falls will be completely complete after this roller coaster has been added in. Um, so yes, now we're off to this roller coaster. I might have been pronouncing the name. So Louis, how did you find that ride? Rubbish. Rubbish. Yeah, it was a bit bland. I can't lie. There is some aspects of it which I'd say uh, just get rid of it at this point. I mean, it used to be the Buffalo ride, and now it's the Viking area ride. Oh, there they are. Found them. Yeah, it was really nice stage set up out here. They use it for a festival night, summer fest, summer fest. Very, very good. Frontier Falls, I like it a bit actually, but it really does add to the whole entire scenery of this area. You got troublesome trucks over there. So, Frontier Falls, like I've just said, you have Accelerator. Now, Accelerator is not on here, which I find really concerning. So, I bet that's up for a re-theme soon. Um, hopefully, and then they can, they've can they got more space for more stuff here. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure though, I don't get... Because the entrance is actually in the area of Frontier Falls. But yeah, Frontier Falls is on this side, and here is Accelerator, so I don't know. Anyway, so we are going to go for lunch now. Um, but yes, I'll keep you for the whole entire day. Please remember to subscribe, it would be very, very beneficial. Smile always. <laughs> so, looking out over the skyline. Very, very nice. Uh, so yes, like I said, we are going to get lunch now. Um, over there used to be a ride. I'm not quite sure what used to be over there. But over there used to be some ink where at Christmas. And then right next door was the old dark ride, which used to be here at uh, Jater Manor. Not quite sure what it was called. Pirates, Story or something like that. Now this ride has not, this looks like this ride is not um, operating, it hasn't been operating since 2016. I find that pretty concerning, trust me. Now this could be a potential area for a new dark ride, uh, but I'm not quite sure. I'm actually not quite sure. Um, but if this ride does return, then could it be something new? Could it be something to scare fest as it is being quite well? Anyways, we're off to Burger Kitchen. So we've got the barbecue bacon premium here and chips for £16.50 and the drink. There we go. Louis, we can go on that later. What? I think that's a very good idea. Go on this later. After no. Congo, we can go on that, yeah? Uh, Maybe try, yeah? We've got to go on the wave. We've got on the wave again, yeah. So, we are here. Got my strong. Louis, how are you? How was your food? Oh, I didn't have this side. Um, food was okay, actually. Kind of liked it. I got this cup too. Haunted Manor. Which <coughs> I'm also dying about. Um, yeah. Got the Haunted Manor Cup, why not? Day, very nice day here at uh, Drayton Manor so far. We've gotten a lot, a lot of rides. It doesn't seem like they haven't overbooked. I mean, it's like something you could see. Something you see with... Um, something you see with Alton Towers and compared to Drayton Manor. Drayton Manor don't overbook. You've got places like this who are just amazing and um, they really take pride in their guests as well. <laughs> Uh, queue times are really, really low, really, really quiet. So, anyways, we are off to adventure. What I'm really sorry about drinking with my camera, everyone. Um, we are off to the adventure with the rapids. So, Louis, how did you find yeah, that's the way? Good, amazing, yeah. amazing. Yes, I'm pretty sure Louis loves this roller coaster with a passion. The way. 
we've got Storm Ball set over there. Really, really good theming in that queue. I'll give my full review. Me and Louis will give our full review later on um, in, well, when we have time to at least. So now we are off to troublesome trucks. A very, very nice sunny day. Not too busy. Even though it looks busy, it's not busy at all. Made in Maelstrom again. No, it's not doing Maelstrom. I mean, it's got no queue. I love the little Drayton Manor station they have here. Okay, let's go, let's go. It's two miles from it. It's two miles from. Then we'll do troublesome trucks and go back to see Congo River, uh, if the River Rapids is back open. Uh, because the Avenger Cove River Rapids is uh, closed at the moment, unfortunately. So now we are off to Thomas Land, where we are going to ride the last coaster of our um, day here. Here is Thomas over there, Thomas. You know, I was named after this land, which I find really, really uh, amazed throughout. But our last coaster is Troublesome Trucks. Louis, it's this side. It's this way. Du, du, du. Du, 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 du. So that's why I'm singing to that. Soda Airways up there. And there is our last roller coaster. Um, now we will go up here. We will go around. There you go, there's Clanky's lift, which is really, really cool. That is such an amazing one. I remember being on this. I have a photo of me on this. This is also this is new back in the day. <coughs> Hasn't got much theming around, but we have gone completely the wrong way. It's the other way, Louis. Um, so let's punk it. We went completely the wrong way. Just realised that. Shows how much we know about this one. There's Thomas over there. There's Thomas. Coming to collect his stuff. His Annie and Clara bound. You got Sodor Guy. Winston. His name, and you got me. Not much beaming on those faces. I mean, there could be more investment in this park. But, you know, it is what it is. There's quite a lot, a lot of beaming around. But, I mean, on rides such as the uh, rides that we saw, there could be more beaming. <laughs> so there's the troublesome trucks, for you. And here you go. And troublesome trucks of ours, our last ride. Can't film in it, but I can show you guys after you come off. So, Louis, how did you find store? Ah, uh, oh, rubbish. Rubbish? Okay, yeah, he found troublesome trucks a bit rubbish. Fair enough, I can't lie. It was alright, I can't lie. Very unique to Thomas and the only roller coaster in Thomas Land that keeps you just lap bound twice. Similar to the one at uh, Alton Towers, Alton Norths oh, ride. But at least we can say I'm we have done that ride. Six, right, Louis is now going to Storm Falls. I'm probably going to set out for this one. Thomas, that's it. I'm yeah.
Now, another ride that used to be here back in the day was G Force. Now, G Force used to take up all this area around here, but apparently, we don't have that anymore. Um, it was a X coaster, um, and it used to take up all of this. It used to be a red track, and it had a lift hill, and it went up, and then it inclined. Uh, Anyway, it, it was like an inverted incline. It was really, really cool. I mean, you don't have that anymore. But I don't know what could go in that place. I don't, I'm not quite sure where this station was. But I'm pretty sure the station was somewhere over there. But I cannot tell you on top of my head. The station was probably somewhere over there. Where the toilets are now, but I'm not quite sure. Whether... There could be some mistakes like place. I don't think there could be actually because this whole area here is now covered with coral, um, the Adventure Cove area. Now I'm not quite sure if this has got something to do with Great Western Railways, but it's a little GWR here, so you know it probably has. Presumably, what like. You know, Thomas Tank Engine, which is the trains here. And then we've got the DMR Railway, Greatest, and we've got Howl Bicycle Tricycles. How funny. And you've got Spires, you've got Bobble, and all of them have got Great Western Railways. So this has probably got something to do with Great Western Railways. Especially also when the track is green and uh, beige. Was it beige? That's the beige colour. Yellowish colour. So, you know, this show. Bisto for all meat dishes. Ah, Bisto. It's gotta be, it's gotta be gravy, I think. So away we go. On the at DMR, I think it is. I think it's on DMR. I can give you tours on this well, give you an online video of me, did ask the person, as long as it stayed inside the car, of course. The Viking area over there, Land of the Vikings, I think they call it. Over there, your storm force tank. Really, really good feeling in Swordfall's 10, by the way. Um, a little bit goes round Swordfall's 10. It doesn't go in that half of the area. You go out and feel the sprinkles of water from Swordfall's 10. <laughs> There's the docking platform for the old Mississippi, it looks like. Yes, yeah, so we used to have the Mississippi showboat round here. Uh, they don't do that anymore, fortunately. Uh, and then finish the storm force ten over there. Now, I don't know if they did this for the storm force ten beaming, or they did this for another, uh, or they just did it for the, uh, the ride itself, this DMP ride, the Express. But I'm not sure. So yeah, the docking station over there is actually um, where the Mississippi showboat used to be. They've kind of refurbished this whole ride uh, and it doesn't go around anymore. Yeah. Now we have the Congo River Rapids. Well, no, it's not Congo River Rapids, that's what that's what I'm talking about. No, it's the Adventure Cove Rapids. And it looks like from 2016 to 2024, uh, 20, well, 20, it looks very, very well been the car line. We've also got the wave there. But uh, it's got redeemed. We did when earlier. I did tell you guys that it did get redone for 2024. It was uh, sit-down cars instead of um, instead of standing up ones. I never did it when it was standing up. Unfortunately, I was too small. So I'm guessing Mississippi show that used to go around here somewhere. I'm not quite sure. 
great amount of park support, Asian songbird conservation. So we have a conservation bird. Nice feeling there, I guess. And then you've got the Congo. Now Congo, no, not Congo. Um, the Venture Cove River Rapids. Very, very unique. Kind of, like good with all the bushes and the trees. I kind of like that aspect of it. To be fair. Now this train ride has been here for quite a while, the Thames ride doesn't go around all the park because the park has expanded throughout the years, as we all know. There used to be literally this side of the park used to be just the area. And then it takes us all the way around the nature reserve they have here. German is part support, it's native species. Make a difference. Then we've got the June buggy, it's like the back of Drayton Manor. Here's the back of the Venture Code. Can't wait to get back on that, I can't lie. I remember this being all grey, it never used to be as themed as that before. And then we've got construction work going on around here, and I'm not quite sure what this could be, but I don't think it could be much. I don't think it could be construction, I can't lie. Um, because if it is, then you should be a cherry picker. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, but I'm not sure. There could be an expansion to this area, but yet again, there is a road they have to prioritise for. And then you've got the back of the wave and back of Congo. Like I said, G Force would be around here, the old roller coaster used to be here. Um, G Force would be around here, but not anymore. I'm not quite sure where, though. I'm pretty sure it's where the court, double uh, corkscrews are in. So. Just got home, see Lemon in the We've got car park over there. I think it's car park. It's something. No, actually, that's where the storage area is. So we've got, we've got Storm Balls 10 boats there. Oh, that's some nice feet, man. It'd be pretty nice to see this at night, I can't lie. They haven't done quite a lot at night. Uh, Drayton Man has some really restricted time zones. And when they're open and closed. Back of Stormfall's head right here. They're not back of Stormfall's head, that's back of the wave, but alright. Um, there you go. That's where the wave would go. You can't see this part of the park, unfortunately. So this is where the ride early does take it. But there is quite a big room for expansion online. Air race over there, there's the inside of the air race. I'm not quite sure what used to be there. We got Thomas the uh, Thomas Sand. Wish him well, don't know why that's sir. Go 
just takes you all the way round Adventure Cove. I kind of like that area, I can't know. Now we're going to explore more back of the park, the world best view out they have there, like an on ride film for that. And also look at Drunken Bowels or Bowel, whatever it's called, Bowel Bailout, I think it's called now. So there you had DMR, Hot, uh, Pol Pero Express, I think it's called. I'm not quite sure what it's called. Uh, the distraction from 11 and end closes at 4 pm. It does use diesel, you can literally buy the diesel. Now it looks like the Storm Pulse 10 has stopped again. So I think it's pretty concerning. Um, so now I'm probably going to go on a wild west shootout. But first, here is the overall feeling of this area. And then you've got the pirate ship over there. Doesn't look like it's put busy, it might go on it. Now I'm going to give um, this spider a go, I can't lie, because it looks like I haven't been in it for I, I, most of it, actually, well, I haven't been back to the park for ages. Let me get that straight forward. I can stop saying I haven't been in this for ages, I haven't been in this for ages, because I haven't been in any of the rice for ages. Um, <laughs> so let's get back on Sheriff's Showdown, which is an uh, interactive dark ride. Featuring sheriffs and other things. I can take you on board. Like I just said, I can take you on board on this on my POV. Horses shod wagon to rent. I'm not quite sure where Sheriff Showdown will be. Got some really like that to be where. Uh, Now, Sheriff's Showdown is somewhere over here. It's all way up above the park, as I know of. The theming looks very, very cool on the ride, though, still. I'd love to see that open in two weeks. Right, now we're off to Sheriff's Showdown. Like I said, which is an interactive dark ride featuring sheriffs. See, so we 1.1 meters to ride the slide, and on ride filming is permitted, so I can take you along to the ride. Now, this has been redone for the 2024 season, alongside with Sher um, alongside with Frontier Falls. Also like the theming in there. I mean, it's got some good. So I just rode Sheriff at Showdown. Now I'd say this ride was okay. Um, it's it's a dark ride, interactive. Really, just take away from the elements. They've got some really good animatronics in there. However, I think if they did something else um, in that area, then you know. But I'm pretty sure I like how they have themed it up to. Frontier Falls. Now I am off to the Vikings. I did just do Accelerator again and then the Bowels, uh, Bowel Bailout, which is very, very good too. Um, would have still thought we could have kept it as kegs, but apparently not. It's Bowel Bailout and got dynamite instead. Now I'm off to the land of the Vikings, where I'm off to the only Zampala Nebulas in the UK, and that is this ride here, Loki. Or maybe four, I'm not sure. You need to see what time the queue times are. However, Loki is a unique ride to the resort. I may do four though first, as the ride throughput is very, very low. Uh, no, it's the ride throughput that's pretty high on here. Ride throughput on here is quite low. May do that after, but it's very, very unique if you ask me. Now it's time to go on four. I'm not quite sure who built this ride. Um, 
can't tell you. I don't know many boys which are built from this close spot. I know it's a Zampurlin Nebula over there. That is the only Zampurlin Nebula over there. Um, don't know if it's built by the same people who built uh, the one at Chessington. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, I'll see you guys when they come off. So it looks like for the first time today that the wave has broken down, which I think is really concerning. Uh, now what I've also said is the fact that they need to ride cars on here because I mean the ride capacity they have here and the ride capacity they can fit on here is very very limited especially when you've got fast track which I am going in because um, we uh, need it but also it's the fact that well we all know that you ha I hate fast track but it is what it is and also the ride access has to be epic so yeah they definitely need two ride cars uh, on the track but like I said, the experience and the delay and their wide maintenance team shall be on there as soon as possible. I don't know how well their wide maintenance team uh, fixes stuff because it's the first time in like eight years, so there could be a lot of there's a lot, a lot of different things that have happened in eight years. So I've just found out this roller coaster is a Intamin Saturn Duck roller coaster. However, it's not stand up anymore because they have changed the cars to sit down. Um, so. I have to say, but having a sit-down roller coaster, and I've ridden this twice now. What are your thoughts on a sit-down roller coaster compared to the stand-up one? Because you you ridden the stand-up one before, Louis. Is it better? Pardon? The stand-up as shockwave, or is it better as the wave? This roller coaster. Pardon? Oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. He doesn't remember the stand-up one. Um, too bad. It was quite a long time ago. I'd say. It's okay uh, sitting down, but prefer uh, it for it to be standing up, as that was the only stand up roller coaster in the UK. So the wave has broken down and it's been broken down for quite a while, so we are not waiting for that because I don't know how long it will be. Now it's quite a long time now, I don't know if that's some ink, I'm not quite sure, but um, that could be some sort of like food encounter halfway point they have here. I don't think it gets that busy. I mean, to be fair, it probably does. But this is the second day of the summer holidays and I haven't seen it busy at all. Like, it's not fully booked to anything. Now, apart from that, the park is really, really quiet. Uh, looks like they haven't got much. Um, so, uh, but it's been actually quite a good day, I can't lie. That, that is a huge thing. Everything's been turned off. They base no time. Here. Never been to a theme park when it's like closed completely. I don't think it is closed completely because there are some stuff that's still open. They probably do. Oh. Where where are you? Where Maelstrom takes its last riders for the day. Uh, we are going to the sweet shop. Well, wow. that's where I want to go anyway, but I don't know if that's possible. Maelstrom for its last riders of the day. Absolutely adore that ride with a passion. Um, not the best flat ride, it really doesn't give any G-forces off. But that's some really, really good intensity. Like I said, there could be a new ride over there. Uh, I'm not quite sure, dark ride. But, is what it is, you've got a venture over there. So, this is our day finished at Adrator Manor. Now, there are some things which I'd say uh, could be a little bit done, but I will talk to you all that in my vlog, my vlog, which I shall uh, give you later on. Um, now we did go on the uh, River Rapids. It's all right, very timid. Don't get wet on it. And even the uh, <laughs> tell you now, the wire staff themselves even slacked that ride off. Uh, they were like, it's, it's rubbish, absolutely appalling. Uh, and I think the wire should be something new. They should have. I remember the wine, it, all it is is a bit of painted, uh, got less features, water features in it, you don't get wet much, it's just not good. Uh, another thing I found really, really shocking was the haunting. Um, yeah, it used to be amazing, they've kind of changed it since, and I just think that's really, really bad. Uh, but then there are some good rides here, and also Sheriff Showdown is another one which I will give my full review on, I didn't kind of like it either. Anyways, that is enough from me. Please remember to subscribe. Smile always, guys.